Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for uh, xenon tetrachloride. So here we go. Uh, xenon tetrachloride XeCl4, which gives us uh, 8 valence electrons from the xenon, plus 4 chlorines, each with 7 valence electrons, for a total of 36 valence electrons. All right. Now we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which gives you 4 left. Divide that by 2, and that gives you 2 non-bonding pairs. And 8 times 4 is 32, which means that this is going to be an AX4 coming from here, E2 coming from here type of structure, meaning central atom surrounded by four peripheral atoms, and the central atom also has two non-bonding pair of electrons, okay? So let's go ahead and draw this structure. You have the xenon in the center surrounded by the four chlorines, okay? Now let's go ahead and single bond all of the chlorines and then fill in each of their octets, Okay, now each of the chlorines has eight, and now we have to take care of these two non-bonding pairs. And if you notice, each one of these has eight, which means there's eight, 16, 24, 32. We still need four more electrons to, f to fill out the 36 total. So there's one non-bonding pair on the xenon, and here's the second pair, okay? Let's go ahead and check the formal charges to make sure that, that, that this is the correct structure. The uh, formal charge on xenon is going to be the eight valence brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds, minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero. And then the formal charge on each of the chlorines, if you notice, each chlorine has the same setup, so each of their formal charges should be equal. That will be seven valence brought in minus one bond for each chlorine minus one, two, three, four, five, six non-bonding electrons for each chlorine for a formal charge of zero. Multiply that times four because there are four of those chlorines. But that's still going to add up to zero overall, which is what we want because this is a non-charged particle, neutrally charged, okay? Now let's go ahead and talk about the uh, shape. Uh, with the AX4E2, this is going to be a square planar shape meaning you, you, you have a flat square with one electron group above and one below and each of these four peripheral atoms will make up the corners of the square okay um, in terms of bond angles uh, for square planar the bond angle between each bond is going to be approximately 90 degrees all right. In terms of hybridization, looking at the, at, at the xenon as the central atom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six electron groups or bonding sites. So that means sp3d2 hybrid because we have six electron groups, one, two, three, four, five, six um, orbitals, one s, three p's, two d's. Six orbitals, six bonding groups, those have to match up, okay? And then in terms of polarity, um, each of these chlorines is going to cancel out each other's dipole moment along with um, the upper and lower non-bonding electron pair, meaning that this is going to be a non-polar compound, okay? That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know, and thanks for watching.